The city of Budapest, the birthplace of the Red Bull Air Race World Championship, was out in force for the first race above the River Danube for six years. Two names dominated the build-up to the action. One was Peter Bessenje, the home hero and inspiration behind the event. The other was Matt Hall, with a clean sweep of fastest times throughout the week and firm favourites to complete his first victory. Both came through the initial round of 14. Bessonnier saw off his old rival Kirby Chambliss in his head-to-head -head duel. Hall beat the second American in the race, Mike Goulian, in his heat. Into the round of eight, and Bessonnier's home run came to an end against Canadian Pete McLeod, despite a quick time. Nigel Lamb's DNF for an over-G handed a decisive advantage to Hannes Ark to reach the final four. Paul Bonham won through after a costly mistake by Matthias Doldra, but the shock of the day involved Matt Hall up against fastest loser Martin Schonker. The Czech flew his best time of the week, but few except his close family expected it to be good enough to beat the track record holder Matt Hall. They were wrong. The Australian fluffed his lines at the crucial moment and missed out on the final four. I don't know what happened because I thought it was just the, exactly the runs I've been doing all week, so not sure why I lost a second. Uh, you know, I heard his time, I knew it was a pretty good time, but I was pretty happy I could, I could get a 58 again. So I've got to go look at the data. That's racing, you know, it's uh, it'll be a little bit here, a little bit there, and uh, we'll find out why that happened. But yeah, that was my race to lose, and I did it. <laughs> Three former winners, McLeod, Ark, and Bonham, plus Shonka, aiming for his first triumph were now left to fight for the spoils in front of thousands, lining the banks of the Danube. McLeod's opening time was an opportunity missed, and Hannes Ark proved why. The heat was on, but the Austrian reveled in it. He set his fastest time of the whole week. Back-to-back -back wins were now within his grasp, unless Bonham or Schonke found some magic of their own. The Briton chased fast and hard, but came up short by just two tenths of a second. Last to go, Schonke was behind the clock early on and never threatened the lead, leaving Ark to enjoy that winning feeling in Budapest yet again. I was hoping all week that Matt is doing a mi uh, mistake because if he's performing normal, he was unbeatable here. I don't know what happened to him, but uh, luckily I could do of all the runs uh, the fastest in the finals and uh, I was so lucky about that because just right before the finals I thought how, how can I make up two seconds. But everything worked out fine so I'm really, really pleased. Bonhomme extended his impressive run of Budapest podiums to six. Schonke made it two in a row in the championship for the first time. Hall had to make do with fifth. He's also slipped to third in the championship behind Bonham and Dark. At halfway in the season, it's a three-horse race for the title with Ascot next on the calendar in August.